Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jim Bob and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Cambridge United. I think this one's episode 24 or anyway, only a small one today. Uh, so basically just doing a quick roundup of what's been uh, what's been announced over the last couple of days. So talking of one player in particular, I want to talk about now. Akin Fenwa is now a free agent. Now, there's been a few rumours linking him to us, and there's also been a few rumours on Twitter linking him to Pompey as well, aka Portsmouth. Do I want to see him come to us? My opinion, I do. One, he is an absolute beast of a, of a person in general. He is, to be honest, at this point, he is probably more famous than some Premier League players. So, one, that'll be good exposure for him, not only for him, but it'll be good exposure for the club as well. Uh, number two, I'd love to see him up front with Core battling obviously to score the goals. Him and Core up front would be unbelievable. The strength of Akin Fenwar up front, plus the precision and the striking of Core. Yes, please, I'd love that. Not a lot of people do. Some people I've been seeing on Facebook and Twitter, they don't want him to sign. But I think there'll be benefits if he does come to us. If he does come to us, there's going to be a lot, obviously, a lot more exposure for him, the club, brilliant, because he's always being featured on the BBC for something or other. So obviously, you'd see a lot more of the Cambridge Crest on there. You'd probably see, as far as I know, Akin Fenwar is one for always doing a video. He has his own YouTube channel. He has he has his own all his own social media stuff. He has his own clothing line and things like that. Exactly. So things like that is is great for him. Having someone like him p working with us, promoting our club and things like that as I keep saying, would be fantastic. You'd get more fans through the gate. You'd get a greater viewership. You'd sell a lot more shirts, tickets, things like that. Bad things about him at the moment. This season, he only scored eight goals. That's not great when you think about it, but it's not bad. That's eight more goals this season than Danny Carr's got for us. So you can see where I'm going with this. Moving on to pre-season fixtures. We finally had some pre-season fixtures announced. I thought it was only going to be the women's stuff I knew about. Nope, I know you know you some fixtures for the men's team coming up next month. So, first pre-season fixture coming up is, we've got an away trip to St. Neots on the 9th of July. We played them as our first pre-season game last year, and I think we beat them 7-0 or something. Unfortunately for us, we didn't play in our new kit at that point. We played in some sort of red strip, which everybody thought that might be the new away kit or something like that. It wasn't, but next up is the second away trip of the season. It's going to be on the 19th of July, and we're away to Newmarket, debuting a new 3G facility sort of thing. Apparently, uh, Cambridge United are going in partnership uh, with Newmarket Town Football Club. I'll know more of that in the upcoming days. because I just need to do a bit more reading on it and a few things like that. But I definitely will be attending that one. Uh, looking forward to it. I've not been to Newmarket in nearly a year, so it'll be nice to go back there, meet some, see a couple of mates and watch a great game of football. Hopefully, seeing some new faces playing. And then we have an away game to Lincoln City on the 22nd of that month, of July. And then on the 26th, we have a home game beating, facing Aston Villa. I'm trying to think of a word to say, but other than I'm excited, because obviously Villa got relegated from Premier League quite substantially. Uh, seeing their new kit in the championship will be quite cool. And I think seeing them at the Abbey will be even better. And if, if we can beat them, then that's even better. But obviously on the Sunday before that, on the 24th, I'm going to be hopefully at Milton Hall watching my girls play Spurs. So if you're not going, if you're going to the Villa Wayne, think about going to the Spurs game as well because it'll be a good eve, it'll be a good day. And then finally we have a, an away game to Braintree. I can't quite remember the date off the top of my head, but I will probably, if I can, throw it in the video up here. And finally, the new kit. We've had some snapshots of the kit. I'm looking forward to it. So. First picture we've got up here would be the sleeve. Like we had a picture of the sleeve, had a stripe down it, it had uh, Sky Bet League 2 uh, English Football League crest on it. All standard stuff like it has on my other shirt, which is up there. Not that one, that one, the one that you can't see out frame. I've tried to work out what it was all going to be about. I thought, to start with, I thought we were going to, because we saw a stripe going down here like that, like this stripe here. I thought to myself, okay, we might go back to. A couple, of, a couple of season goes like that one with the strike and I was thinking to myself yeah that's how it's going to be and until today probably a couple of hours ago we had a few pic uh, well a picture come out of the shirt the short the socks and the top half of the shirt so the shirt this season so far that we know of it's obviously yellow and now we know it's got a collar like this so I thought to myself hmm I sort of sat and thought about it for a few minutes, and I thought, okay, maybe we're going to go for a shirt similar to that one up there. And then I thought about it even more, and I was like, wait a minute. We saw the stripe down the sh down it like this. 
We saw it's got a collar, so I was thinking it's going to be something sort of like this, but not with the stripes, maybe just yellow. I don't know, but then again, then I've thought about it again, and then I'm starting to think about it, and I thought it was more like Arsenal shirt of the season just gone, the 2015-16 season. It looked a tiny bit like that. Obviously, this is only speculation. I don't know. Uh, obviously until I've seen some pictures about it and then obviously once I do know you guys will know if you haven't seen them already obviously you will have done because you'll probably see them before me so why the hell am I still talking but anyway guys there is still another home fixture to be announced hopefully for hope I'm hoping for a big board, big team in the Premier League because why not um, by the time the Aston Villa game comes my hair will be yellow so that preseason game that you'll see my yellow hair uh, looking forward to that sort of <laughs> And then I found out yesterday that uh, Histon are going to be hosting Posh for a preseason game. And I thought I might go to it. Obviously with the Histon lot to and then try and do my best to wind up the Posh fans. But if I do go, I'll wear a Cambridge United shirt. And obviously I'll have my yellow hair. So I'll wear my Cambridge United shirt and I'll have my yellow hair and I will go there and I will try and annoy the hell out of the Posh fans. If you want me to do that, drop a comment saying yes do it then obviously I'm gonna it's gonna be, give me about 10 times more motivation to do it video it and show you guys but anyway, guys this is the end of let's talk Cambridge United episode 24 hopefully some more videos will be coming in the next couple of days as soon as we know some more fixtures hopefully we're gonna announce our first signing soon can it be Ak Akin Fenwar who knows hopefully somebody big but anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have recording it if you did enjoy it hit the like button if you're new around here feel free to subscribe and I will see you for the next one peace